What is up you guys, and as always, welcome back to another video from your truly best character. And yeah, this goes really without saying, I'm gonna debate an item that is yet to be revealed if you don't wanna be spoiled, uh, it says it is an item that things can affect the meta quite a lot. Do not look at this video whatsoever, uh, I'm not gonna showcase its name, nor like that, until 1 minute mark in this video, and also I'm gonna showcase the Pokedex from the Gala region. Which means if you don't want to know where the Pokemon is in them, but want to hear about the item, do not look at the video. I'm going to debate individual Pokemon that gets it, so it's going to be a small spoiler. So yet again, don't look at this video unless you want to get spoiled. I, I believe it goes without saying, but considering how people have reacted to some of the information, no, clearly not from me, um, but I really, really don't want to spoil anyone. It really goes without saying, and I hope that this coverage is not deemed too spoily for me to get a DMCA, but if so, so be it. Um, I'm doing this without getting money uh, from it, mainly because I don't get any money from YouTube anyway, but quite frankly, I don't believe this type of information should be... Uh, you shouldn't gain money out of it at all. I think, I think it's kind of shameless, and it's not the point. I do want to bait new things. I think it's incredible and interesting, but that's really it. So, you had your warnings. Here we go. Uh, the new item released is Throat Spray. And we're going to debate a bit about what Throat Spray will do in the future. Um, Throat Spray, however, is a new item that raises special attack when a Pokemon is using a sound-based move. That means, de depending on how this, I or this item activates, I really hope it's like White Gem or Power Herb, that once you use the move, it's going to pop before the move. Like, for example, you go for Hyper Voice, special attack raise, boom. It is done. Or Bug Bus. Uh, there aren't really that many sound-based moves, as we are aware of, I should say, uh, as of now, that are significant for the meta. Uh, VGC, we have Snarl, and that's going to have its viability, I'm sure. But I'm talking more about singles, and that means Boom Burst. My god, Boom Burst. Uh, but also Bug Bus and Hyper Voice. Those are significant. And like I said, there could very well be sound-based move in this game that have a significant viability. And if so, we're gonna, of course, this video is gonna be obsolete and we're gonna redo this video. Probably legal. But the reason this item is of high value is because most Pokemon that get Boom Burst, Hyper Voice, Bug Buzz, unless they're Quiver Dance or some type of Call Mind, they in general can't boost themselves. Their viability is very much in bond with their damage output. A few of these have high special attack, but can't raise it. And this will shift that meta um, significant, I would say. Uh, so, yeah. That was the item. Now I'm going to reveal the Pokedex. Again, don't want to be swallowed about the Pokedex. Do not look at the video. Or e even more, if you just want to hear my thoughts about the individual Pokemon gets it. Listen to it. Don't look at the screen. Had your warning. I'm saying it like I'm revealing some kind of drug. I'm not. <laughs> but anyway. Um... I'm gonna do like this. It's not the highest quality. It's not supposed to, um, because I can't do it. Make it better. Uh, the blue marked Pokémons are Pokémons that have a significant, uh, to an extent. And first one is actually Vikavolt, and it really goes without saying. Vikavolt is in many ways incredible. Vikavolt has, of course, to say the least. Um, I'm probably gonna show my face. That here we go. <laughs> <laughs> The Vikavolt, as of now, has 145 special attack in its main base stab, stats. And um, it has no way of boosting itself outside of weakness policy. Um, see you there, Weedle. <laughs> uh, but, but anyway, uh, it has a way of actually boosting itself in agility. And it could be very, very self-sufficient. Though, it needs to stay in. It goes without saying. But since Bug Bus is part of its main move pool, it could... Use this quite well. Uh, we'll we're looking at the part of um, being able to set up agility, then go for bug buzz, raise a special attack, and you still have your complete move pool intact with the horse thunderbolt and potential roost. It's I think it's the main threat of this story because it's bulky enough to pull a sweep and it's now is able to pull off a special attack raise without going for life expert battle with life orb. And it's not forced to be specs. There are a lot of layers to this which I think is great. Uh, it's not a perfect combination, but it's a very, very fair combination for the well, the meta is going to be forced to fend off against. And it's going to work, at least for me, I think, quite well. 
Uh, now we have Noctowl. Due to Tinted Lens, the extra special attack race is really good since it doesn't get anything like that. It also, much like Vigavolt, has agility and with Hurricane and Hyper Voice. Now it lost the Normalium C variant, which I think is awful, but it also gained, since it has Tinted Lens, a layer of offensive credibility. Um, and I think it's going to be great for it. Um, this really should go without saying. I'm not going to cover every Pokemon with Bug Buzz. If they get Quiver Dance, there is a very, very, like, that's probably going to go at. Um, I was thinking about Rubombi and Butterfree. I'm just going to say it straight off the bat. These Pokemon could carry that item, go for Quiver Dance, and then boost themselves by attacking with Bug Buzz and get a special attack race. That's probably going to be a strategy, but I'm not going to cover that more than, of course, talking about it like this. Uh, then I have Vespiqueen. Look, Vespiqueen is not the most threatening Pokemon, but being able to actually raise its special attack is good for it. It is a very, very fat flying and bug Pokemon, and um, just it's another layer to it. I like it. I think it's going to be, for the lower tiers, that could be a very, very dangerous combination. Uh, Gardevoir, it goes without saying. Unfortunately, we don't have Mega Gardevoir no more, and of course, you couldn't combine Mega Stone with an item anyway, but it does get it if you want to capitalize on Hyper Voice. We have, however, another one that can probably pull that strap better. Um, then we have Seismitoad. Seismitoad also gets Hyper Voice, and uh, I think it's Echoed Voice also, and it could actually be an, an activation for it. Look, I'm not saying it's going to be meta defining, but going to be able to have a special attacking. Um, um, Seismitoad could be very, very interesting. Um, it also goes without saying, um, behind my face, I do have a Galvantula. Same thing there, goes without saying. Special attack boosted Thunders and Natural Heaven Bug Buzz, awesome. It probably is better off with Expert Belt or Focus Sash anyway, as it is a really strong lead, but just having that accessibility is incredible. Uh, and then we follow that up with... Uh, <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> Coffee. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna follow that up with Noivern. Noivern, same thing here. It doesn't have a really high special attack. It is below 100, I think it's 98, something like that. It is not incredible. You use it for its speed, but it never had a boosting move. It now does. Boom Burst is, in general, a good filler for high base power or high damage output. And being able to do that together with this type of item is going to be good for it. Um, it is also a Pokemon that like Pivots, it's a good Taunter, it's a good Stall Breaker actually, probably one of the best in this generation right now, but it now has a, a layer of viability which it never had before, and uh, it could be a reason for it to stay in versus matchup, because it now gets the damage output, it's Draco might be way above its natural power, and uh, yeah, you don't use with Specs anymore, since a Special Attack Raise is a Specs boost, so... I like it. It's I think it's going to be interesting on it. And then I already cover Rubombi anyway. And then we have the Eevee line. Uh, Eevees in general aren't that good special attacking, or they are, but don't have a fair boosting mood outside of, I believe, Curse and Howl. So this will be good for Vaporeon, Jolteon, I think Jolteon more for a lot of reasons, since an extra special attack race might be very well enough to kill some stuff, and considering it probably is the best electric type right now, as far as we are aware, it's gonna be great. Um, Flareon, not so much. Espeon has Calm Mind, and um, it could be plenty for it. Uh, Umbreon, same thing there. Leafeon is, all things considered, physical. Glaceon, it could be good. Uh, it has an awful move pool, however. I hope it gets free striders generation. That would be great. But, the main Mon is Sylveon. This is a Pokemon that does use Pixelate naturally. Hyper Voice is so common. It is probably the strongest wall breaker due to this significant change because not only does it, it, it actually gets Calm Mind. This goes without saying. We've been able to attack from the get go and pushing. Like, it doesn't need a Calm Mind to get a special defense race. It doesn't need that. However, it needs a special attack. You open up the move pool here. Then you can run Hyper Voice, Psy Shock, or Psychic to get with the likes of Hidden Power Fire, to get with Wish, or potentially have Calm Mind anyway and be as greedy as you want to. But basically, this opens up it quite a lot. I think Sylveon is going to be not meta defining, but it's going to be one of the toughest threats to deal with head on, as it has now the possibility to sweep teams and it's bulky enough 
to pull through a lot of matchups naturally. And I'm looking forward to that, if anything. Um, then we have Meow Stick, but for the same reason, has Call Mine, so it's not going to be significant. Uh, and then we fill that up with Excelgore. Excelgore has Bug Buzz. It has no boosting move, but it's goddamn speedy. It is a suicide lead to an extent. It also is a um, potential wall breaker with specs. But this, much like the others, it opens up a layer to it. So it can be functioned differently, and I think that's good enough for it. And the remaining Pokemons are... I say like this, uh, the first two I'm going to mention here are Pokemons I look forward to see use this item. First one is Heliolisk, as this is a Pokemon that used Hyper Voice anyway, as a really strong stab combination to it, together with the likes of Thunderbolt and mostly either Surf or Grass Knot. Heliolisk is a hit and run Pokemon, and it could very well stay that way, but this opens up to be a wall breaker. This means that if the Poke or the matchup now are slower, than they are, and then it could it be, it could potentially sweep. Um, Hillisk has issues, and quite frankly, the fine types in this game still have significant mag punches. Uh, looking at actually Conkelder, which actually destroys Hillisk, unfortunately. Uh, besides that, it really has a fair viability in its own right. But um, yeah, Hill is going to be interesting to see. The other one is Flygon. Flygon is always going to be better with Dragon Dance. It goes without saying, but since it gets Boom Burst, Draco and Fire Blast, and actually Bug Bus also, it could actually go with being special attacking. Uh, it has 80 base power, so it's not the, you know, the strongest special attack out there. But just like I said before, having that layer to shift momentum, forcing Pokemon or players to switch in wrong Pokemon, predicting wrong, and then get the opening due to higher damage output, that's, that's a rare trait. This item does leave these Pokemon with un unpredictability, which they didn't necessarily have before. Uh, and then we have Drampa, and it goes without saying, Drampa I do believe gets Call Mine and Roost already, but much like Sylveon, I do believe this opened up a layer into it. It also has Berserker, so it could get two special attack races in one go, and it could be devastating. That's all I need to say, like, that's, that should be the end of that story, by far. Uh, then we have Waylord, because Waylord is awesome. He gets hyper voice, come on. <laughs> uh, probably not the best item for it, but I just it, I realized as we went through that this this is cool. <laughs> and then we have the last Pokemon, which I think is gonna make a lot of people happy. Hydreigon. Hydreigon gets hyper voice. The thing is here, it is not a good filler for Hydreigon to have hyper voice, but having an extra special attack over going scarfed or specs, which would be more reason to it. That is awesome. Much like stated before, it is an extra layer to the Pokemon, and that's all you need. Um, yeah, I think it's super great to see these things, as uh, Hydreigon is a Pokemon with really high special attack naturally. It's now able to pull that through uh, without any necessarily big issues. I'm trying to take away the screen. There we go. Uh, boom. <laughs> and that's going to help. I think like Hydreigon usually carries dual stab. And then it's Fire Blast uh, and a Roost or U-Turn or Taunt. Um, those are the standard moves. So it's very tough to see whether or not you could optimize Fire Blast or Flamethrower for Hyper Voice, as uh, it does force you to go neutral with Dark Pulses versus Steel Type. So it's not it's not a significant thing. Like it, it couldn't possibly work through in the long run, but it is an aspect to it, as getting a race special attack to a Pokemon with already a tremendous special attack of 125, I believe. Ooh, that hurts. It also means that that Draco is THE Draco. It basically just go for Hyper Voice, alright, kill something, next thing come in, Draco, boom. You got Wall Rate. Um, <laughs> potentially. Uh, but yeah, there are a few Pokemon here that really, really needs this. And um, as stated before, I think Jolteon is going to be one of those Pokemon that are going to stand out. And Healer is absolutely flying. It's going to be interesting to see. And just overall, there are a lot of Pokemons that actually work quite well here. And uh, um, Vikavolt also, truly, it's it's a Pokemon I I I know it's always been viable, uh, but it always struggled. This opens up it to be not only a potential slow wall breaker or tank. You can actually set up an agility and still have the damage output to be able to work as it should. And yes, it's one turn of setup. But it's your opportunity to set up, and it's also it's your opponent's opportunity to try to wall that. 
I mean, basically, you need to switch into something that can take a bug bus to avoid the sweep. If they can't, well, it got a lot harder, didn't it? Uh, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, that's really all I had to say about it. And um, as I said before, there are a few items on this list that we don't know nothing about. I have no idea what room service is. So we'll see what that means. But um, that is actually all the items we have um, gotten revealed to us before the site went down. And um, well, hopefully there is more, clearly. <laughs> so guys, always, thank for watching and take care.